I had swapped the differential out of a 2000 Ford Explorer into um, my truck. It's a 8.8 .8 inch rear end with the um, traction lock and all that. Uh, I was going to use the uh, existing emergency brake cables that were on the, the uh, rear end when I got it out of the donor vehicle. Uh, I could have, I guess, changed cables and, and routed it the same way as the original F1 was, but uh, I'm going to make a bracket uh, to uh, use it. It comes out on the driver's side, uh, outside the chassis, on the Explorer, and I'm going to try to do something similar to that. The way the Explorer cable works, uh, it has a single pull point. Instead of having a balance bar to go to each uh, side of the truck, it's got it's pulling just from the one cable that's on the driver's side, but it's also got an anchor point on the end of the cable and a connector going to the, the cable on the passenger side. So when you pull this uh, cable for the driver's side brake, it also pulls the sheathing as it tightens up and, and then will pull the cable for the passenger side. Uh, it, it sounds complicated, but it's really pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is make have to make an anchor point. I'm going to mount it to the bottom of the um, what do you call it? Running board support. I'm going to put a bracket here. Now you have to leave enough slack in the driver's cable so that when it pulls, it it has enough room to pull that sheathing. So it's going to come back, you know, probably about four inches back here, and uh, I have to make a snap in for the cable sheathing. It's got like little prongs that pop out. It's about uh, 17, 30 seconds diameter hole through, and then you need a slot for the uh, cable to fit over it. Anyhow, uh, what I like to do on a complicated part is uh, go to my CAD and uh, do a CAD drawing. Uh, very important to do. Anyhow, we'll do that next. I went ahead and uh, drilled and counterbored this piece of uh, quarter inch thick, inch and a half wide flat bar and, um, and I cut a slot in it so it could go over top of the uh, over top of the cable and snap on. I had to do a counterbore on the back. The, um, the termination on this uh, cable sheathing has a little more than an eighth inch grip length. And it's a quarter inch thick, so I had to um, use a counter bore and come in uh, to, to, to make that quarter inch or eighth inch thick here. So um, this slides on like so and snaps on, keeps it from coming out. Uh, so I'm going to bend this up like my CAD drawing, and uh, I left it a little bit long that way I can clamp it in place and give it a trial fit and get the uh, position right. I have my bracket clamped in temporary position here. I've got enough slack on this uh, housing, cable housing here, so that when it pulls, it's gonna, it's gonna straighten that out some to tighten that uh, driver's side brake. And uh, I've got enough clearance. Here's what the, uh, this is the position of the running board here. So I've got this whole open area and um, up front, where the original um, uh, brake handle is. It, it goes through the floor and was originally routed um, inside the chassis and then through the cross member, but I, I changed the routing so it goes on the outside of the frame and it will be underneath the, uh, underneath the cab. I have to make a provision to mount this. This is the original uh, cable uh, sheath 
end clamp and I gotta make a place to mount that. And then I'll, I will, uh, I'm gonna try welding like a, um, a slug on the end of the brake cable so that on both pieces so that when I attach them together with a, one of these cable clamps, it won't slip off. Um, so anyhow, that's next. Okay, I didn't realize that this was actually a, a splice um, on the end of the cable here already. There was a, a little stub sticking out where it was cut off. Um, so this is a 5 /16, 5 16 diameter barrel on the end. I'm gonna take the original cable off the truck and solder on a little barrel similar to that, solder or welded on uh, for the splice. Uh, that, that's for the connector. Uh, I changed my mind on how I'm gonna attach this bracket to the truck. Um, instead of welding it on, I've, I've um, welded this little stop on here. There's a, a hole in the, uh, the support here for the running board and I'm going to uh, just use it, bolt it on here and, the, and this little stop will keep it from twisting. That stop will keep it from twisting and uh, this way I could unbolt it if I need to make any major adjustments uh, for the length or whatever I could I could redrill it. I left a little bit uh, on the tag end of this uh, bracket so I could move it further back. Um, but that's that's going to be how this sits in here and let's see. And that's how the the bracket will be attached. It gives me plenty of room now too with the uh, routing of the cable for some wider tires back here uh, to come inboard. For the front mount of this cable I took the original um, bracket that held the uh, sheathing and uh, I mounted it to, I had a piece of scrap aluminum and I'm gonna, there's the mounting holes uh, up on the support for the running board here and I'm gonna mount it up here and that will give me a, a place to put the cable in and uh, it'll be running parallel with, on the frame back to the rear bracket. Here's the front bracket support installed Got the clamp there and it's going to continue on to the back. I just have to make the barrel connector on the cable end to attach everything. That should be it. All right, I, I cut a piece of uh, 5 16 bolt and drilled a uh, 3 16 hole through it for this cable uh, to make a new ferrule. I, I guess you'd call that a barrel end. And um, I'm going to cut it where I have it marked here and then try I'm going to try to MIG weld it on the end and then it will fit into that uh, connector here and that should tie everything together. Well, it looks pretty good. Let's see if it holds up. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'd say that's a success. Well, thank you for watching and uh, Please subscribe if you're not already and comment, like, share. Uh, anyhow, I pre appreciate everybody watching. Thanks.